Okay, come. Hello, how are y'all doing? It's me again. I'm not officially dead. So, I want to talk about September's Suicide Prevention Month because everybody's talking about it, honestly. And, um, I live in Houston, Texas, which basically means, like, I live near the woodlands, and the woodlands is, like, the most suicidal, um, in, like, ever. So, I did not know that till today. So, I've heard about suicide, I've asked the question to myself many times about suicide, we should, I'll get there, I'll get there, but, um, I've heard a lot about it, because there was this girl who went to Grand Oaks, Grizzlies, she jumped off the school roof, and I was like, okay, she was super stressed, and, you know, you get it. If people were bullying you, and you were super stressed, and you had nothing to do, and the only way to, like, probably make it your life better is to jump off a roof. Don't worry, she survived. She's not dead. She's just probably in the hospital with a broken ankle. And then I heard, like, this person died at Grand Oaks, and everybody thought it was because of COVID. But the coroner did check, and it was not because of COVID. I'm going to guess it was because of suicide. Because, honestly, it's Grand Oaks as a high school. You get a lot of bullies. You get a lot of popularity contests. You get a lot of everything. So, this is where I get into my own story. My parents have been divorced since I was, like, five, and I'm 13 currently right now. I have a dad, a stepmom, and two stepbrothers. That's the backstory into this. So basically, I'm like the oldest of two younger siblings. Even though they're half siblings, I still consider them siblings because I love them way too much to call them half of anything because they're part of my family. And I'm going to tell you another thing. I'm autistic, but I'm on the like lower end of the spectrum. So I'm autistic, but I'm high functioning, which means when I get happy, I rock like a lot. And that has been a little bullying problem, but I really didn't care because I was like 13, 12, 13, when that happened and I was just ignoring people at the time. Not really, but like, yeah. So I really didn't care. But no one bullied me for being autistic, of course, because I was on, you know, the low end of the spectrum and I was high functioning and I had perfect speech and nothing was wrong with me. When I was 12, I think it was when I was 12, when I was 12... Um, I usually sit at the dinner table at my stepmom's house and at my regular house. Like, I would put up the napkins and set the table like any good child would do. And, um, I sat at the table and my job was also to, like, put the napkins back in the napkin holder. And I forgot to. Because I was focused on doing other things like studying and whatever occupations a 12-year-old had. And I really wasn't concerned. My stepmom was just like, oh, you need to refill it. You didn't refill it. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. You know, like, I'll refill it. And my dad, I don't know if it was jokingly, but I'm going to take it as not jokingly. He was like, he was like, well, I don't really remember what he exactly said. He was like, you should have refilled it. Next time you don't do it, I'm going to not feed you. And I took that as a legitimate threat because it was a 12-year-old, obviously. And he was like, you're so special. And honest to God, I cried. I cried while eating my food. And I cried staring at my stepmom, eye to eye. And she was staring at him, waiting for him to say something. And he was just eating. I've learned my father has no empathy for anybody but himself. He's a sympathetic bastard. I know I shouldn't say it, but he is. He's legit and A-S-S-H-O-L-E. Now, if you know what that means, thank you. I'm spelling it out so I don't get demonetized from YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. So, that night... I went to my bathroom and I cried my anger out. And I was like, okay, you obviously don't love me. You think I'm so special, apparently. Why don't I just kill myself? 
suicide was the only thing on my mind, or, like, slitting my wrists, or doing something that would, I mean, it wasn't just, it wasn't for attention, you know, I'm not the attention getter, I'm not, like, the attention grabber in the family, I don't try to do that, I'm not, like, the attention I need attention get. I was planning on how to do it, and I was thinking about it in the shower, and I was legitimately, like, thinking about it. And I think my stepmom was worried about me. She made my dad apologize. I mean, something in her must have been like, hey, please, get your darn husband to apologize. He apologized, but I didn't take his apology, because if you break my heart, you basically are breaking me. I didn't accept his apology. She asked why. I told her why, and we had a very nice conversation about it. Of course, nothing changed. It's been a year from that, and nothing strange at all. But he's a new reoccurring event. My dad was, you know, with my younger ish brother, Reese. And. I don't know what they were arguing about, but they were arguing about something to the point Daddy put him in a chokehold, and I said, stop it. You're acting like a child. And he legit said, I kid you not, you are so obese. You are as fat as an elephant. You are so obese. You should just kill yourself. And I almost had the audacity to say back, maybe I should just kill myself. Like, well, I mean, he didn't say... You should just kill yourself. That's what I was thinking. Oh, wrong thing. But he just said that, and I was like, well, why don't I just kill myself? Because he said, you should just die, not you should just kill yourself. And I was like, well, why don't I just kill myself? I was legit ready for this man. I was like, I have full intentions on screaming at you until my lungs burn. I was putting stuff up in the room casually because I was like, okay, I need to put this up. And I ran into him. Oopsie. He wanted to apologize, and I said, no. That's not all I said. I screamed at him and told him exactly why I was eating. Here's a little background. After that, I started eating and gaining weight, and um, legitimate the question everybody was asking was, why are you eating? And I said, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure Mama knew the reason. And I screamed at my father and I told him the reason. And he said, I'll change. And I said, I pray to God you do change. Guess what? That man has not changed his subtle ways. He is still as stubborn as he's ever been. He's still angry. And he still thinks that he's on top of the world. He only has sympathy, no empathy. That's why I don't trust my father, why I mutually hate him, and why I never tell him anything. I don't trust his sense of judgment. If it's me and Mama, we can talk about things for five to ten minutes, but it's just... I don't trust my father with anything. If I entrusted him with something, I feel like he would forget it. But, on that note, please be safe. Suicide's not the only answer. You can call a suicide prevention hotline, you can talk to your counsellors, talk to your parents, yell at your parents on my occasion. Just think of what would happen if you died. My only legitimate reason for staying alive is because of my brothers. I love them too much and I would hate seeing them without a sister. That's every time people talk to me. They're like, what if your sis, what what will your brothers do growing up without you? And I don't want that to happen. So I never answer the question. So I stowed away from suicide. This Sunday, I'm going to a suicide prevention meeting at like 12. We're going to have lunch there. It's my church. Go to Church Project. You can literally go to churchproject.org and you can sign up for that if you want to. Like literally, it's Church Project. Just go to www.churchproject.org. I think it's the website. 
and you can sign up for that. All they're doing is, like, talking about suicide and, you know, like, for people that want to live in Christ, because it's Christian. Well, undenominational, technically. Undenominational. Um, it's just gonna be, like, how do you talk to people with these problems? Or how do you solve these problems for yourself? Thank you guys for listening. Um, I hope you have a nice September. I hope that I can vlog again. If I have the time, I'll do it Thursday. If I don't, I might try Friday. But my week is very packed. Thursday, I'm going to Urban Air Trampoline Park with my choir. And Friday, I'm going to do a small group connect with all my friends. And we're going to have a pool party at one of my friends' house. houses. So, yeah. I'm gonna have friends, I mean, I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna have friends, and I'm gonna have fun time with family, because my mom's supposed to be coming to Urban Air and to the pool party, so, yes. Thank you, lovies, for watching, and always remember, stay safe, don't commit suicide, and please, if you do feel like you want to die, go for the National Suicide Hotline. All you have to do is search it up. I don't know the number off the top of my head because I don't know the number off the top of my head. But I hope you guys have a nice rest of your September. Kisses to you all. Good night.